What's up, real fam? I'm back. <sighs> I know it's been a while. Life. Do I really have to explain? Life has been well, pretty lifey. <sighs> Today, I wanted to talk about some things I wish I had known before having kids. This might seem a little weird. This might seem like I'm like bashing myself for having kids or possibly regret regretting my choice to have kids, but really, you know, it's not a regret. It's more like a just, I wish things had been better. So things I wish I knew before having kids, cause I, I really, let me just say this. I really thought I was, kind of thought I was emotionally ready to have kids when I did. Um. Not fully, but I've been around kids my entire life. I've been around kids since I was a kid. You know, my mom, she was always a teacher. She worked at daycare centers, multiple schools, multiple daycare centers. She was the owner of school at some point. Her um, and a co-owner, they owned a private school for many years. And um, she doesn't have it anymore, but they used to own a school. So I've been around kids forever. I've been around multiple different types of kids. You know, I've interacted with these kids. I've taught these kids. I've practically raised these kids, even though I was still a kid. And I was going through some, you know, my own abuse issues at home or whatnot. I still helped raise some of these people's kids. You know, I've been around a lot of kids. So I have a good history with kids. I thought that I was fully set. And I know a lot of people say, oh, nothing really prepares you for having kids. Well, yeah, that's kind of true. Nothing actually really prepares you. You never know until you have your own and then you're sitting there deep in the trenches like What the fuck did I get myself in? So yeah, I have a pretty extensive child rearing background but of course those weren't my children. They weren't my kids that I gave birth to. But I still thought I was pretty good. You know, when I um, we had our honeymoon baby basically when my husband and I first got married um, I think I got pregnant that night. I already explained that before. Um, our honeymoon baby is our first child, Sarai. She's 12 now. Now, at that time, I thought I was really ready, you know, when she came and everything was cool. And I was, I loved her and everything. But the more kids I had, I'm just gonna be honest, the harder it got for me. Emotionally, and that's because there was a lot of things I hadn't yet learned about myself, and there was a lot of things that I had yet to learn about parenthood and finances and all that other stuff. So, here we go with the list of I didn't even make a list, I'm just gonna talk off the top of my head things I wish I'd known before having kids. Number one, I wish I had known how much time kids really require. Now, I say that because kids really require a lot of time. And it's kind of funny, it's like, even if you only have one child, even if you have one child, or you have two or three, it still takes a lot of time. Now, I have five. For those of you who don't know, I have five kids in all. My youngest one just turned five. So I have a 12-year-old and 5-year-old in between, and the other eight kids are ages in between there. And they all just take time. I mean, quite obviously, people, relationships take time. Relationships in general take time. However, I did not... Nothing could prepare me for the amount of time that has to go into each child. This is each child now. This isn't like... You can't neglect one child can't give one child more attention than the other. The more you do that, the more the child is going to feel it, and they're going to feel some type of way, and they're going to act up. I have dealt with that. I go through that a lot. But to be honest, it's hard keeping up with all of them. It's hard to tend to all of their needs. And I just wish I knew what the fuck I was getting myself into. Number two. Another thing I wish I'd known before having kids. I wish that I had known how much patience it was going to take. Uh, that seems like it would kind of go around the time thing, but no, eh, not really. Patience, oh my god. Kids make you want to pull your hair out. Like, literally, pull my hair out. 
take so much patience. And you have to be patient with them. If you are not patient with your kids, you're gonna have a bad relationship with them at some point or other. It might not be like ASAP. It might not be when they're younger. You might think, oh yeah, you're fine. You know, you're getting along with your toddler. Yeah, toddler use it easy. Oh, that's cool. Wait till they hit preteen ages. Wait till they hit about 10. 10 to 12, those are some critical ages. Wait till they hit that time. The patience, y'all. The patience to deal with the attitudes and the mood swings and all the new stuff that comes along with it. I'm gonna be honest. I was not fully ready to handle all that. And finally, they all take time, they all take patience. And again, younger ones, y'all, you know I'm homeschooling. The patience level, y'all, is like really thin every single day now. It's just thin and it, I know it's just, it's just being a parent. It's being a parent in general. I'm not the only mother feeling like this. There's a lot of moms online, you know, complaining about their kids and complaining about not having the time and patience and being like, oh my God, what are they get myself into? And they're just, they talk like they regret having their kids, but that's not really the case. I don't regret having them. I've always wanted kids. I've always wanted at least five kids. We were dating, we talked about having five five or six kids. That was always our benchmark, five or six. We're at five right now, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, we're struggling. Struggling. And we're still good parents, you know, we don't neglect or anything. It's just, y'all, it's hard. It's just hard. Number three. Another thing I wish I'd known before having kids is that I wish I had known myself prior to having kids. I know y'all thinking, wait, what? You didn't know yourself? You didn't know you Watch my older videos. You would already have known that, no, I did not fully know myself when I had these kids. No, I did not. Especially the older ones, of course, because you're younger then and you're just trying to get through your 20s. You're just trying to get through all the shit that your 20s brings you and so on and so forth. And no, I didn't know myself. I, I just didn't. Don't know my story. You don't been following me this long. For those of you who haven't, you need to watch my old videos. You need to watch my abuse stories and all that jazz. So you know my background and where I came from and why I say I did not know myself because I did not, y'all. You know? It's not really that hard. I, I just didn't. And I wish that I knew sooner that, wait, I don't make sense. I wish that I had known that it would be very imperative to know myself prior to having any kids. I wish I had known how imperative that would be. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to say. I just wish I had known the importance of it. I wish somebody had told me. You know, somebody who actually cared about me and tried to show me the way, but you know what, I, I don't have much of that. I just wish I did. I wish that I was able to, um, like I said, figure myself out. I wish I was able to dig deep inside myself because once you have kids, y'all, once you have kids, your life's no longer about you. Especially if you have a lot of them, especially if you have them back to back the way I did. Your life is no longer about you. Everything is about that cut, that kid. Everything, everything you do, your meal planning, your 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 wake up schedules, your thoughts, everything you think about, the things you buy, everything revolves around your those kids. Everything just does. That's just how it is. And for years, when I first had all of these kids, I was lumping them all in one because within those years, five or six years of having all five of them. Um, it's probably a little longer than that. Lumping them all together because they're all like a year and a half apart, year and a half to two years apart. Within there's some time within that arena, I lost track of me. I was getting on a track, you know, went into marriage and all that stuff, just home life or whatnot. I was learning myself for a while. Um. But there was, there was a moment where I lost track. You 
if you guys did not know, I have another YouTube where I used to do hair videos called Curls of Innocence. You know, my OG subscribers should know that by now. You know, I used to have a hair video where I was constantly doing hair, vid hair videos and homeschooling videos. And you know, those directly involve the kids a lot because my kids have a lot of hair. <laughs> Go figure, have you seen this? <laughs> they have a lot of fucking hair. And I was doing a lot of hair videos and a lot of homeschooling videos. And it was fun, it was cool. I was building my subscribers, nowhere near as much as on this account. Oh, um, I don't have nearly as much subscribers there as I do here. But I was going through that and I was, it was fun, but like I said, I was kind of losing myself. I was losing myself in the sense that everything was still about the kids. I did not have, I did not give myself much me time. Um, if I did, it would just be about taking care of my hair um, or just doing like the bare minimum to take care of my hair. And you know, I would portray that on camera and whatnot, but it was still wasn't really, eh. it was like the inner, it wasn't so much the outer perspective of me, it was the inner perspective of me. There was a certain part of me that I had not learned. There was a certain aspect, a lot, lot of aspects really, that I had not learned, you know? And that took time and that took digging deep. And I hadn't realized how much I had lost myself even more dealing with my kids every day like on a back-to-back -back basis doing videos with them and whatnot. It was cool, but it was too much, you know? As a mom, you need your me time. And y'all know my history with friends. I have none. I don't have, well, I have some online friends, but I don't have anybody serious. I don't have anybody close to me. I don't have anybody who lives up the street and me and her go hang out. None of that. I've never had that. So all these years, I never had that. So that greatly takes a toll on me as far as like woman time. There were certain things I was not doing to take care of myself. <sighs> After being pregnant five times, I, I let my body go for a while. There were a lot of things I was doing and I just felt sorry for myself for a long, long, long time. Because again, kids take all your time and your energy and your patience. And I just wish I had known, like I said, how important it was to get to know yourself before having any kids. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of times as mothers, we just lose ourselves and our kids because that's our entire identity. We can't really help it because, yeah. <sighs> it is what it is. Another thing I wish I had known before having kids. I wish I had known how damn expensive kids were. Now, of course, everybody says this. Everybody says, oh yeah, kids are expensive. It's like you kind of know, you know? No, but you don't know, no. You don't know, no. Like you know when you know. People always joke about that, and I was always like, oh yeah, I know. Kids are expensive, yeah, yeah, but it'll be fine. I'm not gonna be out here buying them neighbor and shit, so it ain't gonna matter. Mm -mm. Y'all, kids are still expensive. <sighs> Even if you go cheap, like we don't buy our kids name brand shit. We don't get them on name brand clothes, shoes, none of that. We get the Walmart clothes, thrift store clothes, hand-me-down clothes, all that stuff. And they're still expensive. They're still fucking expensive. We're talking about five kids here. Five. So we got constant, I mean not constant, well we are pretty constant because, you know, if, it's, if it can't be handed down to the next sibling, then we have to buy clothes for the older ones because they're constantly growing or whatnot. And they're constantly growing and y'all shoes 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 i didn't i didn't mention shoes yet <sighs> man kids can outgrow shoes real fast i wish i had known how expensive that really was even if you don't go expensive even if you don't you know we don't we're not materialistic people we're very minimalistic people we don't spend a lot on like toys or like super expensive game consoles or anything we're minimalistic um we don't get to splurge. The only time I splurged was when I got this watch. And that was this year. And that was only because, you know, hmm, stimulus. <laughs> so yeah, we don't get to splurge that often. Yeah, I, got, I was able to get this. We were able to get some new computers for ourselves. But that was the first time we had upgraded in our entire marriage. Because all of our other money goes to the kids. 
kids always need stuff. And plus, you know, you got household items. You got to think of it, we got five kids here, so that's five people using the toilet every day. That's five people using the tissue. That's five people using the toilet wipes. That's five people using deodorant and soap and lotion and every damn thing else in the book. Let's not get started on hair cream and shampoo and conditioner and y'all, the rags, the towels, all of that constant laundry. <laughs> I wish I had known how much work it was going to be. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm doing all that work. Because the kids, you know, they got their chores, of course. Yeah, they, they take up their slack around here as far as work. <sighs> That's not really the point. It's just, I wish I had known how much work it was going to take. In general, to raise them. Money and work, I wish I had known, you know, how much kids eat. Oh my God, they eat a ton. A ton. I wish I had known that kids were gonna eat us at our house and home. It's like, yeah, I know. People always tell you. But again, you don't know until you have kids. You don't really know until you have kids of your own. And then you start seeing that food just dwindling each week. Now these kids eat so much. Now it went from spending about $150 to $200 a week to spending about 300 a week to feed all seven of us. It just seemed like seemed like it grew overnight. And then you got inflation. That didn't help as far as the food. So I was like, oh my God. <sighs> Parenting is no joke. It's, it's just not. <laughs> it has its ups and downs, but a lot of times, I'm just talking about the cons because of course, we as parents, we have to talk about the cons sometimes. The frustration, there's a lot of frustration in parenting. And another thing I wish I had known before having kids, I wish I would, I wish I had known exactly how much I needed to guide them. Yeah, guide them and teach them because, hey, that phrase that we hear, that, com that common phrase where they say, you need a village to raise your children. Me and my husband sitting there like, what village? Where, where's, where's the village? Is this some kind of a metaphor? It's gotta be a metaphor, cause y'all, cause it don't exist. It does not exist. People say that shit because yeah, it's true. But again, if you don't have said village, what the fuck are you supposed to do? So you're sitting there raising your children by yourself. And especially as homeschoolers, we don't have any guidance i'm not saying we need guidance per se but it'd be nice you know it'd be nice to have some guidance or you know somebody to kind of ease us along or give us some tips or you know just hang out with and, and us be parents together and we just bond like that but we don't have that my husband and i we don't have that <sighs> at all <sighs> so i wish i had known how much it was going to take out of us to even homeschool because we're their only teachers, like literally. So we're teaching them everything. And I mean everything. We have to teach them how to blow their noses to how to stay out of debt. We gotta talk to them about every single topic. We gotta teach them how to eat healthy. We gotta teach them um, the menu of sex when they're old enough, of course. Um, we gotta teach them how to brush their teeth. We gotta teach them everything about this world. We gotta teach them how the world stabs them in the back. We gotta teach them how to um, be an entrepreneur. We gotta teach them how to land a job. We gotta teach them how to do it in their career, in their profession, in their, in their um, talents. We are teaching them everything. And for those of you who have never homeschooled, you have no idea how much that takes out of you every day. When your child comes to you with a question and you really don't have the answer, but you try to explain to them the best they can, it just takes a lot out of you. It's it can be draining. And I'm not gonna lie, parenting can be fucking draining as hell. That's just real life. I know I'm not the only parent feeling like this. Y'all, it's draining. And it doesn't help that I don't get a break. It doesn't help that we don't have said village that I mentioned. That does not help. But I, I wish I'd known. 
Me and my husband both, we talk about that a lot. I, I, we wish we had known certain things before taking on this huge, huge burden, as well as blessing, of parenting five kids. A parenting period, when you're kind of still in poverty, is not good anyway. It's just not, it's not easy, you know? It's just not. So yeah, all that guidance and all that, all of your, your, your heart and soul literally goes to your kids. And like I said, this is a daily thing. Homeschooling is a lifestyle. It's not one of those things to where it's always a set schedule as far as how they learn. Homeschooling is just one of those things to where it just comes on the fly. They'll just come ask, oh, what does this mean? Or what do you mean by this? Or just anything. What does this word mean? What does this sentence mean? What does this phrase mean? Oh, I saw this video. What does this mean? Yo, kids are draining. They ask you a lot of questions. Even our oldest, she's 12. She is 12, but right now she is asking more questions than a four-year-old. And you always hear the jokes about how many how many questions a three or four-year-old asks a day. Yo, my child is 12, and she's asking more questions than a damn four-year-old. Help. Yeah, that's just parenting for you. And I, I didn't know. I, I, I just, I didn't know it was going to be like that. A lot of parents probably didn't. I just, I wish I'd known. I have little time to be myself now. Very little time. You also see I've been posting on this channel that much because time, space, all that jazz. I just don't have it. Kids are so draining. They're so demanding. Sometimes they just, I just keep them out of my face because I don't want to snap at nobody. You know, sometimes I'm just irritated and I don't want to see them for hardly the whole day unless it's time to eat. Unless they're eating or doing the chores. Sometimes I just don't want to see them. I'm going to be honest. I just shove them off and let them go play. As long as nobody's killing each other. That's cool. You know, let them go play and do their thing. And they get bored. But well, guess what? I'm more bored. <laughs> I am more bored because I don't have a lot of adult time. My life revolves around my kids, literally. And every now and then I try to go to an outing, I try to get out or whatnot, but it's usually just an outing by myself. And I do it for a few hours and I just come right home. I mean, I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't have anywhere else to do. It's not like I have a friend I can go to and we can have a sleepover. and. You know, I could stay at our house for a few days or, you know, we can just watch movies and have girl time. You know, I would love for that. I don't know if I'll ever, ever experience that in a set. I am 34 years old and I've never experienced that. God damn it. What a sad sight. Mm. To be fair, I'm not beating myself up about it because I've tried. I, <laughs> I have tried. As far as that arena, that's a whole different video, y'all. I'm not even gonna get on that. That's a whole different video. <laughs> Anywho, what else did I wish I'd known about having kids? I believe that's it for now. I think I stated all my points. <laughs> um, I didn't want to make this video extremely long, but um, you guys get the gist of what I was trying to say. And I'm sure there are a whole lot more reasons as to what I wish I'd known. Not reasons, there's a whole lot of other things that I could state on what I wish I'd known before having kids. But hey, I, that, it is what it is. The video's long enough. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know which, what you wish you'd known before having kids. If you have any kids, Write down below if you got any tips, suggestions, whatever. Let me know. Let me know how you feel about this video. Give it a like. Subscribe. Yeah. Make sure you thumbs up this video. You better thumbs up this video. I'll be looking for likes and y'all not giving me any likes. Give me some likes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Don't cost nothing to press the like button. I hope you're having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and decade. Thank you for watching. Peace out.